Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Alright guys, for starters, we've got a few jalapenos I bought for something else and didn't end up using. If you don't have a wood block for cutting, I'd suggest getting one. You don't need an expensive one, just get the best one you can fit into your budget. This one was 20 ish dollars at Walmart and it's worked great for me. Just take care of it and it'll take care of you. Next, make sure your knife is sharp. Dull knives are a hazard in the kitchen and make the job way harder. Now if you're just starting out on your culinary journey, make sure you invest in a good set of knives. These are Victoria Knox. I got the entire set for like $2.50 on Amazon. They're a great set of knives at a reasonable price. Let's go ahead and chop these jalapenos up. Don't be silly and do something like touch your eyes afterwards, you're probably going to regret it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Guys, now that we've sliced the jalapenos, we really want to dice them down. We're going to end up using them in both the eggs and the waffles, so you want to get them diced up pretty small. If you leave the pieces too big, every time you get a bite, you're going to drown out the other flavors we're going for instead of just adding another dimension to the dish. So make sure you get them as small as possible. You can see now that we've got these jalapenos diced up pretty small. Now we're going to go ahead and season them. We're just going to use fresh ground pepper and salt at this point. Normally I like to make my waffle mix from scratch. But I figure a lot of you are going to want to use pre-made mix. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use crusties. As you can see, we've got our water, eggs, and oil pre-measured and laid out. Our jalapenos, we're just going to do that by sight, and we'll drop in drops of vanilla. I'd also like to suggest maybe a tablespoon of sugar in the mix as well. My wife is on me about sugar intake, so I'm going to leave the extra sugar out. Now we're going to grab a good sized mixing bowl and we're going to get to mixing. Alright, now that you got your bowl set up, go ahead and add your waffle mix. Dump the whole container in there as you should have already pre-measured it out. Then you're going to want to go ahead, get your water, dump all your water in there. I would always put in your water before you put in the oil. I guess that's up to you, but after you add your water, I would go ahead and add your oil. Now you're going to want to add your eggs. I just crack mine right on the side, dump them in there. Get that second egg in there. Uh, I'd go ahead and leave that shell out of there. I wouldn't uh, drop that in there. Now before you add your jalapenos, your vanilla, your sugar, make sure that you mix up your batter really well. Get it smooth, get the lumps out. Now that we've got our batter where we want it, we're going to go ahead and add that vanilla. Don't be afraid of it, dive right in there, it's hard to go wrong with that vanilla flavor. There you go, now you want to mix that right in there, get that flavor throughout the batter. Again, just mix it up real good. And then we're going to want to go ahead and, and dump in those jalapenos. I suggest you start off small. Mix those jalapenos right in there. Now I can't really see a whole lot of the jalapeno in here, so I know that I definitely want to add some more because I want to get jalapenos throughout my pancakes. There we go. Get those jalapenos in there. 
Now I'm telling you, a lot of you guys might be kind of freaked out by putting jalapenos in your waffles, but don't be. It's going to add a really unique pepper flavor to the sweetness of those waffles. Get those jalapenos mixed in there too. You want to get that flavor throughout. You don't want it just in one or two waffles. You want it throughout your waffle. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get into these eggs. Uh, first thing you want to do is spray your pan down with some sort of nonstick spray. I like to use a butter spray. Go ahead and drop some eggs in there. Uh, I'd pass on the shell. Uh, most people do prefer their eggs shell free, so you should probably not add the shell. Yeah, go ahead and get all your eggs in there. Again, I'm starting with five. You start with what works for you. Yeah, but again, no shell. No shell needed in these eggs. Okay, get the last egg in there. Now we're going to go ahead and drop some jalapenos in here. Uh, we want to uh, just get that pepper flavor into those eggs. It's really, it's stellar. Uh, you're really going to like this. Just go ahead and drop that fresh uh, jalapeno in there. Hit it with a little beach bum rub. You can get yours at beachbumbarbecue.com. Uh, it's phenomenal with everything. You can put it in your eggs, your sides, every meat it's great with. Now don't over season your eggs. Go ahead and bust those yolks up. Whisk it all up. Yeah, mix that in real good there. Get that egg that egg yolk busted up. Get it spread out throughout the egg white. Get those peppers mixed in. There you go. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple more eggs into mine. go now if you're adding eggs here again make sure you whisk those right in uh, you just want a good even scrambled egg here another thing you want to think about doing is you want to keep that egg moving on the bottom of the pan uh, you don't want to give it too much of an opportunity to burn and the nonstick spray should help with that throw some more peppers in there I really want like a good thick pepper flavor here on these eggs. Whisk those in. Again, just try to keep the egg moving. It'll get you an even scramble and it'll keep it'll keep your eggs from burning or getting too dry. All right, now we're going to get into the pork belly. Uh, you want to make sure that you preheat your pan, get it nice and hot. It just helps with a good even cook. Now the pork belly we're using today has already been smoked, so it's, it's completely cooked. All we're going to do is kind of pan fry it up, give it a bacon texture. Essentially, when you cook pork belly like this, you're just making super thick bacon anyway. Get all those laid out there. You hear that sizzle. That sizzle is exactly what you want to hear. Now, me personally, I don't put any oil on in the pan when I do this because there's a lot of fat in this pork belly, uh, and that's going to create a, a lot of grease in the pan to begin with. So, um, I don't think that you need to add any oil to this. Now we're going to go ahead and hit, hit this with a layer of the uh, Beach Bum Barbecue Rub. Again, you can get that at beachbumbarbecue.com. Uh, literally, you can use it on everything. Um, it's got a lot of great peppery and sweet notes to it. Uh, it's a really awesome accent to almost any dish. Uh, I even use it sometimes to season food after I cook it. 
So we're just going to let this pork belly fry up now. You want to make sure that you flip your pieces regularly. Uh, that'll help keep it from burning and it'll give you an idea of, of where your meat's at. Because again, the meat's already cooked. We're just trying to get it, uh, get the right texture on it um, and some of that pan fried bacon flavor. All right, guys, let's hop back to these waffles. Uh, this is just a Faberware waffle maker. It's nothing fancy, uh, but I think it does a great job for home use. So hit it with that nonstick spray. It's not mandatory, but it'll be helpful later. And then go ahead and load this waffle maker up. Now, I probably just overloaded it, but we're just going to have to ride this out together. There you go. Get it on there. Might as well overload it. Go ahead and slam that lid down. Now give your waffles about five minutes. If you have a different waffle maker, pay attention to the directions that come with it so you don't overcook your waffles. Five minutes later. And there you go. Waffles done. So go ahead and repeat the process so you have the amount of waffles you need. And there you go. So we went ahead and topped off our waffles with a little leftover pulled pork from Beach Bum Barbecue. Hit it with a little maple syrup and uh, you got a delicious breakfast. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, my other vlogs. Um, thanks for taking this journey with us.